Hey, what is up guys, Ven here, and today I am here to talk about the whole Dexonic situation. As most of you know, Dexonic has done some pretty questionable things, especially in the past couple months or so. He's been doing questionable things for like the past year, but just recently, a bunch of screenshots were posted, memes were made, the hashtag, hashtag Dexonic is over party is blowing up. Everybody is hearing about this, and I thought I'd share my opinion on this with you guys. I think nothing of what he did was okay. Manipulating young girls into sending him nudes, uh, money, and stuff like that. Uh, saying he's going to kill himself if he doesn't get money from a 12, 13 year old girl asking her for nudes. I think they were both the same person as well. Um, I also heard from somewhere he threatened to dox her if she didn't do what he said, which is pretty fucked up in my opinion. Also, I had a bit of a talk with one of his ex-e-girlfriends, and she said she only went out of it with him because he continued to beg until she said yes, which again is stupid. These girls are not that old not mature enough to know what to do in situations like this where he could threaten to dox them which I don't think he would he also said he'd kill himself if he didn't get money I don't know what he needed money for but again he probably wasn't going to do it also he pretended to be a girl and dated people to get them to send money which is extremely fucked up to a new level he made enough money to support himself from from his social blade stats his social blade stats also show that he may have subbotted a lot of people say he subbotted i believe it um i'll put screenshots on screen of everything he's done and said uh over the pat over the past like month or so and it's been blowing up youtubers like really uh kenny uh, and um other youtubers who have quite a big following are commenting on this um i've seen tweets from hannah xx rose and some other youtubers i haven't heard of i've seen some of his friends not really turn his back turn their backs on him but they've said some things uh, that they don't agree with what he's doing, but they're still continuing to support him in They're trying to stop the hate. I'm not saying the hate should continue I'm not saying he should continue to be the harassed. I think he should be punished for what he's done and An apology like he did will not cut it it the apology. There's no way he's going to be forgiven for stuff that he obviously did on purpose um, for example, pretending to be an e-girl and getting money from people, which is stealing, and asking a 12-year-old, I believe at the time, for nudes, which is also illegal and could be he could be considered a pedophile. Uh, really, I think. I'm not sure because he's not over 18. I think he's 16 around there. I mean, it's still not okay to force people to do things for you, or you say you're going to dox them. Um, um, I've seen Pink Toots say something about this. Um, a lot of my friends are saying things about it. And he shouldn't be harassed, he should just be punished. He... Something happened to his Twitter, he deleted all of his videos on his channel and made a crappy apology video and it was bad he disabled likes he disabled comments it's just a 20 second video of a few sony vegas text presets saying he's sorry if he wants to show he's sorry then he needs to prove that he's sorry by not doing this shit over and over again for years and I never had a big problem with him. I never really paid attention to anything involving him until recently, until I saw Jackson's tweets, saw all the screenshots 
saw all the shit that was happening and it's just stupid how bad the Minecraft community can be. This is a block game for young kids and He's acting like he owns the community. He has 10,000 subscribers and he's not being a role model for smaller YouTubers or anyone else by doing things like this. He's been exposed many times. Uh, he used to be by the name of iDabloader, if any of you know that. Uh, I remember Pig Toots talking about him, his channel getting terminated because of something about the KKK something like that um, I'm not too sure I'll have to learn more on that I'll get some DMs with pig toots and stuff like that also one of his exes is going to call me on discord I don't know when I'm gonna record that and maybe upload that as like an interview type thing and I'll try to talk to the girl who was the victim in like the screenshots that were posted all over Twitter and this is the biggest thing I've seen in the Minecraft community happen recently um, that I've actually been extremely sorry for the people involved in it and the people who were victimized by Dexonic. Uh, he doesn't deserve the following he has. He should have it taken away. He should... His channel should definitely be terminated. His Twitter, I think, already got suspended or something like that. He should not be allowed on the internet, to be honest. Uh, he's really not a good person. He shouldn't be trusted. Um, I'm not saying I hope he stays gone. I just hope he learns his lesson and fixes his problems. I don't think he should get bullied, I don't think he should be harassed on Twitter, I think he should just learn from his actions, be punished for them, and that's about, about all I have to say. If I miss something, I'll cover it in a later video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and the gameplay in the background. It's some Hypixel Battle Royale and some... UXC duels on Hypixel, IP, Hypixel.net, everyone knows that. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you're new and subscribe if this is the first video you've seen by me. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then comment down below uh, what kind of videos you'd like to see, whether it be gameplays, more kind of exposed videos like this. I'll see you guys next time.